Kilo Delta 8 Uniform Lima Romeo over. Uniform uh, Lima Romeo Roger Roger and what's the name there? Uniform uh, Lima Romeo Roger Roger and what's the name there? Vince Victor India November Charlie Echo Vince Northwest Ohio. Roger, Roger, Vince uh, in Ohio, and what's the radio you're running? Roger, Roger, Vince uh, in Ohio, and what's the radio you're running? I have a Kenwood uh, 570S, 100 watts, and I have a Ecom 2 antenna about uh, 12 feet up. Over. Okay, so uh, Vince, uh, are you running that uh, a hand mic, Roger, Roger? Uh, Vince, uh, are you running that uh, a hand mic, Roger, Roger? It's a Kenwood MC60 uh, desk mic. Okay, so what I would suggest is, A, number one, do you happen to have a, uh, a foam windscreen around your shack? Have a, uh, a foam windscreen around your shack? Uh, a what? Over. A foam windscreen? You know, it just goes over your microphone. Foam windscreen, Roger? You know, it just goes over your microphone, foam windscreen, Roger? Uh, no, it's uh, like a, it's a metal, uh, like a little metal one over. Okay, so uh, what I would suggest then would be to uh, to back off that mic a little bit uh, because you were getting uh, quite a bit of transitory uh, stuff uh, uh, into your audio, Roger, Roger? Uh, stuff uh, uh, into your audio, Roger, Roger? Oh, okay. Um, how's that? It ain't better about like six inches away now. <laughs> yes, sir. I think that's better. Try, try maybe one more inch, about seven inches, and uh, let me hear what that sounds like. One more inch, about seven inches, and uh, let me hear what that sounds like. Okay, over. This is about seven inches, and uh, uh, there's an adjustment on the side of this. It's 5K or 50, uh, 500. I, I'm not sure where to put that. Roger. Okay, let's do something. Let's start from scratch. Uh, is that uh, is that an older radio, Roger? Scratch. Uh, is that uh, is that an older radio, Roger? Yeah, it's probably from uh, the early 2000s. Uh, uh, Kenwood PS570. Uh, yeah, it's an older one. Okay, uh, I would. Um, I know you don't have the ability, probably, to change your bandwidth, your transmit bandwidth, TBW. Uh, you know, you are what it is. But uh, I would uh, back off on the compression. What we suggest is a, a, a three out of ten or a 30 out of 100, depending on, you know, if your compression uh, adjustment is 0 to 10, we want it on a 3. If it's 0 to 100, uh, we want it on a 30, Roger. 0 to 100, uh, we want it on a 30, Roger. Okay, yeah, I uh, follow that. Uh, I, uh, I'll have to look at my manual to see how that goes, but it does have a meter on here. My compression was uh, like halfway on the meter here. Yeah, you could have a noisy something on your microphone uh, or just an extremely fast recovery time. I, I tell you what, just... Uh, can you take that uh, compressor out fairly easily? Can you uh, dump that compressor for a minute? Out fairly easily? Can you uh, dump that compressor for a minute? Uh, I could. I'm going to have to look at my instruction book. I'm, I haven't messed with that really too much. Over. Roger. Well, when you come in... Uh, your your noise level is uh, the same as your voice la level later on. So in other words, uh, your compressor uh, is uh, fully expanded when you uh, key down key down initially, uh, which is and uh, then it falls down as you start to speak. So what I want to do is, uh, uh, you know, back. Why don't you take notes? That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, take notes. Uh, we want that compressor again, like I said, to be a three out of ten or 30 out of 100 and when you figure out where that is and how to do it uh, you know you can do it at your leisure but just take notes on that Roger you know you can do it at your leisure but just take notes on that Roger yeah I sure will is that any better I put that I put that switch on my microphone is that any better I'm thinking you might have some uh, 
some uh, uh, scratchiness in your uh, in your mic because uh, I heard some right at the end of that between uh, two words, and I can't believe that the uh, uh, the recovery of that compressor would be that fast to suck up that noise. So I think that noise might be uh, in your in your microphone. It could be that you need to uh, use some uh, antenna cleaner uh, thereabouts uh, to put in. Uh, on the uh, switch uh, part of that uh, uh, desk mic, so if that that usually is where the noise is uh, on those mics, uh, you know it's in the uh, you know it's in the audio key part. It gets scratchy, but it's so hard to figure out which one that is. It's just better to to just put it turn the mic, come up from the underside of that microphone with uh, your tuner cleaner and just spray those contacts and if there's any runoff it just runs off below the mic as opposed to back into the mic. Roger, Roger. Off below the mic as opposed to back into the mic. Roger, Roger. Okay, yeah, I'll try that. It could be, I mean, this is an old setup and I had it out here in my garage. Uh, if I had some deox, would that work? Uh, what was that? You had the... Well, i tell you now. <laughs> i probably catch, catch a lot of you-know-what for it. But I use uh, WD-40 myself. I've used WD-40 all my life. I've got uh, t many mixer boards that I have pots on that I've... Uh, they're sealed pots, uh, and I've had to drill them and then uh, lubricate them with WD-40, and it works just like a champ. You know, but I, I know everybody else wants to use, use tuner cleaner. But the thing is, see, tuner cleaner only cleans it. It doesn't really lubricate it. And the thing you want to do uh, with uh, switches and and pots, you know, particularly like carbon pots, uh, you want to not only clean them but lubricate them. And that's what WD-40 does. Now here comes the mail. <laughs> WD-40 does. Now here comes the mail. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I have some of that. I'll definitely try that. And uh, I listened to your uh, uh, broadcast or your, your, uh, your, your thing here a couple of weeks now. You got, I wrote down some tips there, and I wrote down some info here. So I'll definitely try that. Over. Yes, sir. Now, now keep your mic up uh, high and squirt from the bottom so the runoff runs out of the mic as opposed to into the mic, you know, if you know what I mean. Uh, hold it above your head or whatever you have to do and spray those contacts uh, uh, from the bottom and let that, uh, that runoff run off, uh, off the mic as opposed to back up into it. Roger. Runoff run off, uh, off the mic as opposed to back up into it. Roger. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely do that, and uh, that uh, should help clean all that. Like I said, it's a fairly old unit, and uh, it's been out here in my garage, so maybe that was a fact for us. So. Yeah, and I think uh, you know that's uh, that's most of your problem that I hear right now is just that uh, that noise. I mean, it it could be. Uh, RF and the AF, but it sounds more just like a dirty, uh, a dirty switch contact in the microphone. So I would spray it and see if that uh, took care of the problem. Roger. So I would spray it and see if that uh, took care of the problem. Roger. Okay, I'll definitely do that. Now I use a different switch this time. Is that uh, any different? Still got it in there. Still got it in there uh, for sure. Roger, Roger. And you can see it um, like uh, probably you could see it if you just keyed down, didn't say anything. And look at your watt meter. Your mod watt meter will start to uh, to really come up uh, where it should be just silent. Roger. To really come up uh, where it should be just silent. Roger. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at that here. So just key down and. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's almost at zero level, just loud as you are, uh, until you start to speak, and and then it it's driven down by your voice, which uh, makes me wonder what your uh, what your uh, compression level is, because uh, you know, like I said, we want that at a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred. But once you get past that uh, and move to your AOC with mic gain in hand, and it, and as you say the word audio, uh, adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running uh, two thirds. Roger, Roger. C is running uh, two thirds. 
Roger, Roger. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, try that. Uh, I heard that you mentioned that before. Uh, that, uh, I'll have to look at my manual and double check all that. But yeah, that's really good. I'll, I'll check that out. Yes, sir. And I think once you do that, I think you'll be in fine shape. Probably after you sp you spray it, I think that'll uh, uh, get those contacts real quiet. And when you key it, uh, key it. Don't say anything. Look at your uh, output meter, and it should be down there at uh, you know just barely off the line. It should not be up high at all. Uh, particularly uh, if you've got that compressor down there around a, a three or so. Uh, so uh, that's what that's what I do. If you want to hear your recording uh, as it stands, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uh, uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. 3,000, and I'll have it uh, uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Okay, very good. Uh, I really appreciate the info, and uh, um, uh, I'll, I wrote all that down, and I'll see what I can do about cleaning the mic up. Over. This is KD8ULR. Yes, sir. Uh, let me say 73 to you, sir. Uh, uh, and you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, uh, join me next Friday and let me hear uh, the revised you <laughs> after you preferred, uh, uh, perform some of the surgery that I suggested. 73, sir. And uh, like I say, uh, we're going to wrap up early this afternoon, and we're going to be out of here at uh, at uh, 4.30 instead of 5. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.